Welcome to the front line in the battle against an army worm invasion. The team, comprised of soldiers from a unit of Zambia's military, is part of a mobilization campaign aimed at stemming the pest that threatened to destroy tens of thousands of hectares of the staple maize. For Mary Sikaona, this campaign is a blessing. I thank the government for sending the ZNS into a ridge to come and spray because I really lost hope. At first I tried to, sp to spray cypermethrin, nothing happened. So I, th I really have hope now that the army, the army worms are gone. According to the country's disaster management unit, 124,000 hectares have been invaded by the moths and the government has so far managed to spray 86,000 hectares. Zambia's maize production rose to 2.87 million tonnes in the 2015-2016 crop season, from 2.6 million tonnes the previous season, due to better than anticipated rainfall and early delivery of fertiliser and seed to farmers. The Ministry of Finance said last week it had so far released 30.8 million kwacha, or just about $3 million, to fight the pests. We might lose a crop up to 20% of the planted area, but uh, because we have known the problem and uh, we have reported to the relevant authority, uh, necessary chemicals have come in the district. Uh, almost 100% of the chemicals have come now, so we expect that we should be able to reduce that 20% loss to less than 10% and be able to have a good crop for Chiwombo district. Zambia's President Edgar Lungu ordered the Air Force last month to join other government agencies in an emergency operation to contain the spread of the pests that have invaded maize fields in many parts of the country. Lungu also told members of parliament to return to their constituencies and help raise awareness about the army worms. Catherine Omwando, CGTN.